This is my uh, wash plant, one of a kind wash plant. This is from the other end. You can see the wheelbarrow there, my barbecuer, my truck, uh, Twin Cedars, the namesake of this claim, the name of my mining district, Twin Cedar Mining District, and the name of my company, Twin Cedar uh, Mining District LLC. And that's gonna be my trademark, that tree. Anyway, so uh, then over here, we got over here, uh, I have what you call, that's covering a generator, and I bought this off of Home Depot. It's a dual fuel uh, generator. I run it off of propane. You can see that it's running off of propane. It's called the Sportsman, 7,500 watt surge, 6,000 running watts. This powers my RV. As you can see, the cord is right there for plugging in when I'm running it and uh, it runs uh, all the appliances in there no no sweat now back to the uh, the one-of-a-kind sluice box this sluice box is made of cat uh, of uh, galvanized steel sheet metal and what I plan to do here is when I can get it, uh, the rest of the bolts and the two by fours they go in these slots down here and it, it'll be a two by four uh, in in those slots where this will be held up and then uh, these will be bolted this will be bolted in for uh, stiffing it up and uh, and I want to put magnets on this because two things this will do the goal uh, as I take this wheelbarrow and I uh, put a screen on that uh, say quarter inch uh, half inch uh, heavy duty uh, screen on that wheelbarrow and I shovel into it, screen it out. Then I come down here, and I'll have another screen on here where I'll dump it into here. And you can see the carpet. You can see why I can have this in the creek where the water's coming down through here. Just have it come above. And with the screen on there, uh, the, the right kind of screen, the big stuff will just be able to pick off and throw off. And the little stuff... The little stuff will uh, drop down uh, into that, and uh, I should be able to have a good collection method here. And then, as I said before, I'll be able to change this out and put on um, put on a, a box that I could make it an underwater vacuum cleaner, or a rubbish machine, or a suction device, and you can pump water to it. Um, you can pump water to the hole, and I'm going to shut this off, but uh, no, I'm going to finish up. As, as, we, as we see here, if I have a ma I put magnets all the way down the end of this on the sides, put magnets right here and right here, and each one of those and magnets from the bottom, uh, I totally magnetize this whole thing, and where the slots come together... Uh, where is it? Right here. Where we have this other piece, I'll be able to put underneath here a magnet right straight across, right? And that'll magnetize each joint holding it in place if I get strong enough magnets. And then it'll also pick up uh, high-grade iron. It'll pick up uh, and it'll pick up platinum and other uh, minerals that are drawn to magnets. Anyways, and that'll help separate it out. And the way you clean this out, you leave this in the water. And all you do is you come down here, you take this off, you take this off, and you pull this rack out. When you pull this rack out, you roll this up right here, and there's a tub at the end. And you rinse that out in the tub, you roll it out, you set it on the bank. And you do it all the way up. And then, because the magnets are holding in uh, a bunch of stuff, you can take a broom and sweep it right straight into the bucket, where you can then later, either if you have one, run it through a water genie, or you can um, you can pan it out the old-fashioned way. So this is uh, approximately 30 feet long, uh, and it's portable. Uh, yeah. It'll take two guys to put it together. But once it's together, 
cleaning it, one guy will be able to clean it because you're not going to take it all apart. You're just going to take the racks out and clean it out and sweep it all down into the end of a bucket. And then you're going to uh, you're going to pull that bucket out. Have a nice day. Yeah, it'll be really heavy. You probably need a hoist to pull it out of the ground, uh, out of the out of the water. But anyways, you you shouldn't have any problems. Bye.